Welcome to Dipsticks and Deals with Jimmy B and the Third Wheel on Real Talk 1160. Everything you need to know about cars, buying, financing, trading, maintenance, repairs, auto body, and more. Join the program by calling 513-579-1160. Now, here are your hosts, Jimmy B and the Third Wheel on Real Talk 1160. Good Sunday morning to you. Thank you for joining us here on Dipsticks and Deals with Jimmy B and the Third Wheel, where we talk about anything and everything automotive. You will be smarter for having listened. I'm Jimmy B. Remember, you can hear us anywhere in the free world on the TuneIn Radio app or the Radio Loyalty app. That's all one word, Radio Loyalty. Or you can live stream us at dipsticksanddeals.com or realtalk1160.com. Third Wheel. Morning, Jimmy B. What's going on, brother? Morning, Cold Train. Well, yep. Good morning, y'all. Hey, every. Everybody, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and our WordPress blog. And for more information about sponsoring us and sponsoring on the show, go to dipsticksanddeals.com and check out the Advertise on D&D tab. Very good. If you have a question or you'd like to get in with us here at Dipsticks and Deals, call us at 513-579-1160. You can send us a Facebook message or an email at ask at dipsticksanddeals.com. Information and entertainment for the American Engine. That's your cue. <laughs> Not just because we drive America. <laughs> <laughs> but be, say it again. <laughs> Not just because oh, you drive no. cars. We suck again. Because you we drive, drive America. America. Don't wow. ever, ever do that when I'm researching something. <laughs> well, We're going to need know some what? more coffee. Let me, let me explain to you how this works. <laughs> the show is on, okay? We're live. So yeah, you but, have to pay some attention to what was going but on. But you asked me a question earlier before the show started so i was trying to find that out because i knew you were going to go and well there you go hey we do have a new sponsor there you go game on game on down there at 5880 shiviet road i love that place it is a great place 385-9990 and it's uh, a the food is wonderful i I don't care if it's a chicken wings i don't care how many tvs and all the beard has which is awesome but the food is is that's huge, awesome. huge, huge amounts of food. Well, it's it's the quality, and I think that's what they're after. They're more than your run of the mill uh, sports bar. Uh, I mean, it's even family friendly during the day for lunch and in the early evening. Um, they have uh, kids eat free specials on a particular night. I know they have happy hour Monday every through night. Friday, four to seven. You get hot happy hour. Stop in for half off. You're making me want to go right now. Oh, it's it's awesome. Bir- yeah, the, birthday specials, events. If you want to put them on there, yeah. Yeah, and it, and like I said, it's more than just the, your average sports bar. Their their food is their claim to fame for sure. But plus, they have a really cool atmosphere, sports oriented, of course. But uh, a lot of good drink specials, and just it gets crowded quick, so you got to get there early. But uh, well, just really exa- cool example. Here's a couple uh, weekly specials: buy a burger, get one free on Monday. Kids eat free. There you go, Coltrane. You get to eat free <laughs> on Tuesday. <laughs> Forty cent wings on Wednesday, and ladies' night. Three dollar frozen drinks, awesome. Yee-hoo. Today's the last day of the pumpkin run out in uh, Claremont County at the fairgrounds. Yes, it is, and that's a big show. That's something. If uh, on a cool day like today, bundle up and head out there. I think it's going to warm up a little bit this afternoon. Or uh, if you're not going to uh, watch the Bengals crush the Dolphins today, head out to Claremont County Fairgrounds and check out the pumpkin run. It's the last day. It's yes, it is. Thir- well, what do you do? See how far you can run with a pumpkin? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the 37th Annual Pumpkin Run Nationals. It's, I don't understand that. Yeah, it's out there at the fairgrounds in Owensville. It's 1970 or older autos. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's a car show. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they have nostalgia drags and right. things it, like it that. It opens so. up at 8 today, and then trophies are going to be presented about 3 o'clock today. Yeah, so check out the pumpkin run. That is a points event for those guys, so... Check it out. They come from all over the place. Operation Troop Aid, uh, of course, is the charity that Dips, Dicks, and Deals uh, supports. Check out OperationTroopAid.org. They send uh, care packages out to deployed troops, and they need our help. And uh, they accept donations, and they're a member of the Country Music Association, and they have a lot of cool stuff on their website, so check them out. What other sponsors do we have we want to boost before we get started? you got your Easy Street Speed and Customs. Oh, yeah. 513-831-7550. Easy Street Speed and Customs out in Milford, 701 Chamber Drive. We can't say enough good stuff about these guys out there. In fact, 
I think not next week, but the week after, we're going to have uh, Greg Nolan from Easy Street here with us in studio to talk about Easy Street. That's something you want to tune into because these guys know. They know what they're doing, and there's no better place than to get uh, all the good details and information than from the source itself. So Greg's going to be out here with us. Uh, hopefully that works out. Fear Buick GMC. Yep, 2531 Dixie Highway in Hamilton, Ohio. Give them a call, 863-8111, or you can call them toll-free at 866-662-2107. Check them out on their website, www.fearmotors.com. And they do have a weekly special. What is it? And it's going to be a service special. They got the twenty nine ninety five oil change. And something you may know more about than I do, but the 30-day price match on tires. Yes. You buy select tires, and if you find a better price within 30 days of purchase, they'll refund the difference. That's right. They well, will. How That's a pretty they? good deal. Yeah, there's some uh, restrictions, limitations to that, so call out to FEAR yeah. and talk to the service department yeah. and ask them what those are. Um, it's not going to include eBay deals and, and online wholesalers and blems and stuff like that, but they can fill you in on the details. Can't get uh, tires anywhere in town cheaper than at uh, FEAR Buick yeah. GMC. Call Ray Tenley. Hey, uh, did you guys hear about the uh, Elm- Elmwood Place ticket issue? No. This was all over the national news and on all the media outlets online, but in Elmwood Place... Uh, there were some issues with uh, some people complaining people were going through a school zone there uh, too fast, mm-hmm. so they put up speed cameras. Oh, I just saw a protest. They ticketed 20,000 people in two weeks. What? And there's only like 2,500 people that live and do stuff in Homewood Place. And I saw a woman on television, and she actually got five tickets in two weeks at the same spot. Now... You're going to hear more about this because they're going to end up having to void most of these. And the, the reason is there's regulations relative to speed cameras that they have to follow. And from what I understand, they didn't follow them. In other words, they put the cameras up and they didn't put any signage up to alert drivers that they were in use. Entrapment. And you have to do that. They did this in Cleveland last year. They had a stoplight camera. They had to void over 10,000 stoplight tickets because they didn't follow the regulations sort of like the wiretap law somebody has or when you when you're one recording somebody's uh, yeah you got they got you, you. you got to let them know the other party right what's going on and they didn't, sure. they didn't which is good because imagine what would happen there's a lot of folks uh four or five tickets you're going to lose your driver's license it's going to cost you anywhere from 700 to a thousand dollars if you just paid them out the attorney fees if you're going to try to fight it so hopefully somebody gets hold of this uh, quickly before these people well, spend too much money and can get all this stuff straight. I heard one state is going to ban or trying to ban those tickets, those well, those cameras. And a lot of really? states have tried them and have taken them out of use because of the cost, for one. But, uh, yeah, it, you got to do everything right to use those things. And if you don't, people can rightfully so get out of the, some of these tickets because you got to consider there is no other crime you can commit other than this, whereas if it's your vehicle and you're not driving, you still get punished. You still get the ticket because you own the car. Right. It could have been your son or your neighbor borrowed the car. It doesn't matter. You get the ticket, and that's not fair. So It's not. You'll hear more about it, I'm sure. That's right here in our own hometown, Elmwood Place. But uh, we're going to get into some cool stuff here when we get back, including some automotive myths. You're listening to Dip Sticks and Deals on Real Talk 1160. Weather when you need it. Your Real Talk 1160 forecast every 15 minutes. Here's the forecast for Northern Kentucky, Cincinnati, and the Tri-State. Well, this morning, we expect partly sunny skies on a high 54 today. We'll have some patchy frost overnight. Otherwise, it'll be clear and cool with a low 34. For Columbus Day, we'll have areas of frost in the morning. Otherwise, Monday should be sunny with a high 59. It'll be clear and cool Monday night at low 36. Tuesday should be sunny with a high of 66. From the Real Talk 1160 Weatherbug Forecast Center, this is Rod Tanner. Hey folks, Jimmy B here. Did you know that one of the most important structural aspects of your vehicle is the windshield? It accounts for almost 50% of the rollover strength. That's why you must choose the right company for windshield repair and replacement, and that's Mel's Auto Glass. Mel's Auto Glass has certified professionals serving the Tri-State for more than 25 years. Don't trust something so important to anyone else. The experts at Mel's Auto Glass for quality, value, Value and peace of mind. Call 513-563-7771. That's 513-563-7771. 
When our seriously wounded soldiers come home from war, Paralyzed Veterans of America is there to help them get the care, benefits, and jobs they need. Join Mission Able to help them get back into life. Visit mission-able.com. I'll pick you up after school. Okay, I got it. It's easy to take a day for granted. You and your family are connected by routine, and you stick to it. But what if a disaster strikes without warning? What if life as you know it has completely turned on its head? What if your day's routine is disrupted and you can't reach your family? Have you planned for that? Before a disaster turns your family's world upside down, it's up to you to be ready. Get a kit. Make a plan. Be informed. Today. Learn how at www.ready.gov. Ready.gov. This message brought to you by the Federal Emergency Management Agency and the Ad Council. You want speed? You want power? You want style? You want something that turns heads? Then you want Easy Street Speed and Customs in Milford. Easy Street offers everything from minor repairs to full restoration. Custom builds, late model mod, performance parts, and an on-site dyno for real performance tuning. Hot rods and cool rides at Easy Street Speed and Custom, 701 Chamber Drive in Milford, 513-831-7550. That's 513-831-7550. The United States is the birthplace of cool. If the world was a high school, America would be making out in the study hall with Sweden, picking on India, and smoking in the UN restroom with France. Dennis Miller, weeknights at 10 on Real Talk 1160. Hey, it's the Wild Man from Real Sports 1160 here with my friend Rob Bullock from Bullock Roofing. Hey, Wild Man. Rob, I hear you guys are the roofing experts. That's right, Wild Man. If it has to do with a roof, we can handle it. Roof contracting and replacement, shingles, gutters, chimney repair, skylights. We even offer replacement windows. Now, what sets Bullock Roofing apart from the other guys? Wild Man, we are the roofing experts. We do it once, we do it right, and our pride shows in our work. Our customers mean the world to us, and their satisfaction speaks volumes. We're based on old-fashioned value and fair prices. And word of mouth today is everything. That's right. Our popularity has grown thanks to our customers telling their family and friends about our quality work. Take it from Rob Bullock with Bullock Roofing. If you need help with your roof, gutters, chimney, even replacement windows, get the treatment you deserve from the experts at Bullock Roofing. We service the entire greater Cincinnati area. Find us on the web at Bullock Roofing.com. That's bulletproofing.com. Call us for a free estimate today at 513-771-2096. Between the economy and the price of gas, how about a way to save some money for a change? Lower your insurance premium with help from Huseman Schmidt Insurance. They understand more than most because they've been local, family-owned, and part of your community since 1976. Huseman Schmidt's expertise and common-sense approach have helped their clients protect their assets and save money. For all your business and personal insurance needs, call Huseman Schmidt at 513-521-8590 and ask for Rob or AJ or visit HuesmanSchmid.com. Huseman Schmid cares. Cincinnati AM, weekday mornings at 7 on Real Talk 1160. Welcome back to Dipsticks and Deals. Jimmy B in the third wheel. We're here with uh, Coltrane's in the house, too. Well, that's right. Hey, last week's trivia question, what does the Volvo symbol or emblem stand for? Do you know the answer? I have it written in front of me. Go ahead. What is it? Chemical symbol for iron. Yeah. I did not know that. I didn't know that either. What? And then we went outside and we saw a Volvo in the parking lot and we were checking it out. <laughs> Still didn't make any sense to me. No, but that is the chemical sim- minute, symbol for explain iron. Explain that what symbol? Whose symbol? The emblem for uh, the Volvo. Volvo emblem, the circle with the little arrow and that. What does that signify or mean? And it's the chem- chemical symbol oh, for the iron. Ke- the chemical symbol. Yes. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Last week, or this week's trivia Trivia question question. uh, for our gas, cash, or crash, $25 gas, $25 in cash, which we need to up that to 50 bucks. 25 bucks don't get you any gas these days. No. You know what? Real quick. Yeah. I I filled up my little gallon uh, or whatever, my little plastic container for gas. Yeah, it's called a gas can. Yeah, gas can. (laughs) Well, it's not a can anymore. It's not like a can metal. That's why it has a hard time. It's a plastic can. It's a plastic, whatever. Anyway, for the lawnmower. Mm Mm-hmm. Five bucks. Remember when we were younger, you could put five bucks in your car? Oh, let's go out tonight. I'll throw five bucks in my car, which yeah. had a 304 in it. Watch your yeah. son. Well, five bucks. 
Yeah. Fill, 529, fill that up. That little oh, gas yeah. can. Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah, it costs 10 bucks to cut your front yard. You are yeah. the you are the reason that gas cans have that safety nozzle on them now, aren't they? <laughs> you shut up. Him and me. So uh, let's get to the question. Uh, you can also crash the show if you like in lieu of the gas where the money uh, and be here with us live on air. Go ahead with the uh, trivia question for this week quickly. What car in 1971 with a key that had a spark plug gapper, a screwdriver, a distributor point gauge, and an inch and a half ruler? In the key? What yeah. car? Yeah, maybe. 1971 the made with the key, in, you know, the key, had a spark plug gapper, a screwdriver, a distributor points gauge, and an inch and a half ruler. Interesting. It is interesting. Sounds like something made by Ikea or something. I'm just trying to think of something that would, a company that had a lot of gimmicks who would have done something like that. Yeah, well, things were real gimmicky in the 70s anyway. Mm -hmm. A lot of competition. Right. Um, Before we get any further, we need to take a look at automotive news. The government is investigating yet another car model for rolling away while in park. Both the Honda Odyssey and Honda Pilot models, years 2003 and 2004, are being looked at after nearly 50 complaints and several injuries reported after vehicles have essentially popped out of park and began rolling away. That happens to me all the time. What kind of car do you have that you're not allowed to drive? I don't have a car right now. Okay. I said when I had a car, (laughs) when I had a car, that thing always go rolling by me. I got an issue with this story a little bit. Porsche is going to build a new U.S. headquarters and test track in Atlanta, Georgia. That's pretty good, I guess. But uh, Porsche execs and the Atlanta City officials decided they needed to change the name of the road that the company was being built on. They wanted to rename it Ferdinand Porsche Avenue. However, Ferdinand was affiliated with the Nazis, and he was Adolf Hitler's chief engineer during World War II. He designed a lot of their tanks. And they killed a lot of Americans. Yes. So what they did was they agreed to simply rename it Porsche Avenue to try to take the stigma away, perhaps. The problem that I have with this is the name of the road right now that they're going to change is Henry Ford Avenue. You got to leave it alone. Why would they? You know what I'm saying? It's Henry Ford Avenue. Leave it Henry Ford. Why will we let them do that? But anyway. Hey, Dan Sawyer. A 40-year-old nurse from Virginia was arrested in his front yard for stealing a car from a car dealership. Here's what happened. Dan bought a new black Chevy Traverse, and then the very next day he returned to the dealership and said that he decided that he wanted the blue one that he had looked at, and he wanted to trade them out. The dealer approved the exchange, and they told Dan that take to go ahead and take the blue SUV, and they would have the paperwork redone, and he could come in and sign for it. Well... Dan left and went on vacation in his new black Traverse, or blue Traverse, and when he returned a week later, he would not go back to the dealership and sign because the price of the new Traverse was $5,600 more than the old one due to the difference in the trim and accessory level, and since he refused to sign the paperwork, the loan could not be, and the paperwork could not be processed, Dan was then officially a car thief. So charges were ultimately dropped after he was arrested and dan is now suing the dealership for not the 5600 2.2 million yeah oh come on yeah hyundai's 2012 and 2013 veloster have you seen one of these no No. it's a cool car it's being investigated by the national highway traffic safety administration for a sunroof problem what's the problem you ask well it explodes without warning. Multiple, what? Yes, multiple complaints have been filed about the panoramic roof shattering. How does that a, even happen? With enough force, they don't know yet. With enough force to why. rain glass six feet in the air. Now, most roof plosions happened while driving the car, but one owner stated that his blasted off while he was washing the car. I know why. Why? It's probably because of the design details. Somewhere along the line, there's a little bit of an off kilt, so the pressure's building. You know, squeezing the glass. Yeah, but if you're washing your car and the thing goes six feet, and something doesn't matter if you there. had a, if you had a kink in your glass door, uh, a screen sliding door or, or a glass sliding door. Think about it. I would say it's a deficiency in the manufacturing of the tempered glass. Glass, yes. I think it's the, a tempered problem. I think but it's I, everything that causes it to go does. I what like is? your opinion, third <laughs> wheel. I mean, you probably got a point there. What do you got in history? Is anything good happening this time uh, back in the old days? A little bit. What do you got? There's some sad news. September 30th, 1955. Guess who died? 
James Dean. James Dean. He's 24 years old. He was killed in a terrible, terrible car crash in his 1955 Porsche. There you go. Porsche mm -hmm. Spider 550. Wait a minute. I thought that was a Cobra. No. no it was a Spider 550. 550 Spider. And it was on Highway 46 at the intersection of Highway 41. Well, what's the whole thing with that car was supposed to be haunted or had something? You know, yeah. Yeah, 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 it did. It, it, yeah, it, was considered con it was considered curse. And it was the reason why the first event was when it was offloading a tow truck, it broke loose and crushed the legs of the truck driver. And then when they parted it out, they said people had bad luck who put the parts in their car. Well, I'll be damned. Yeah, there was a lot of injuries and deaths and crashes and things associated with parts off of that car. That, that's kind of kind of weird. It's good for Halloween. Yes, it is. Please on continue. October 1st, 1908, the, my, one of my favorite cars, the Ford Model T production began. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. And when Ford started building the Model T, nobody had a hint that the company would produce how many millions? Ten million. Fifteen million tin Lizzie's. Tin Lizzie's, that's yep, right. And before it was discontinued in 1927. And now they're going to rename Henry Ford Avenue, Porsche Avenue. Please continue. Which was killed by James Dean. Please continue. <laughs> October 3rd, 1961, <laughs> the United Auto Workers called the first company wide strike. First of many. Yeah, I wasn't listening. Go ahead. Yeah, well, I was talking about the UAW. <laughs> oh, their first organized strike. Yeah, 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 back in 1961. It hadn't been since 1937 that Ford workers had demonstrated against Ford in an attempt to unionize the factories. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying it anymore. It's a strike. Yeah, they, had, they had the big protest on that bridge. Mm-hmm. And there were a lot of it people. It was the Miller Road overpass. It was the Miller over Road overpass deal, and a lot of people got injured severely. I mean, it was a it was a serious brawl between Ford and the workers. Yeah, yeah, it was bad. Please I think um, this ahead. is something. Did James Dean still drives some kind of Cobra, right? No, he doesn't drive anything now but daisies. Well, I mean back back in the day when he was in a movie with a Cobra. With a Cobra. Oh, that I just figured it was his. I don't know about that. Please continue. <laughs> All right. British racer Richard Noble. You'll know who this is. He set the new land speed record driving his 17,000-pound jet-powered Rolls-Royce Avon. Avon, but please go I ahead. like Avon. <laughs> Guess how fast? How fast? It's over 600 miles an 633 hour. 633 miles an Are hour. Are you kidding me? That's flying. That's one mile. Yeah, but they're faster than that. Please continue reading. Yeah, you shut up. The record <laughs> stood until 1997 when he and the fighter pilot Andy Green... Surpassed the 700 mile hour barrier. Yep. The current record is now 760 miles an hour. Richard and Andy now are working on a car that will break a thousand miles an hour. Can you imagine? That's insane. Now, when they broke the 700, when they did the 760, mm -hmm. they were also the. F it was the first time the sound barrier was broken by a land vehicle. Right. That's incredible. Going so fast on the Bonneville Salt Flats that they broke the sound barrier. That's crazy. Now they're trying to go 1,000 miles an hour. That's like waking up in the morning saying, I want to sit on a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> October 5th, 1962, Michael Andretti was born. Michael Andretti. How there about that? October 6th, 1880, William Steinway, son of Henry Steinway, the piano guy, obtained the rights from Daimler to produce Daimler cars in the U.S. He formed a Daimler Motor Company. Did you know that? No, I didn't. In the U.S. Do now. I don't yeah. know much. And did so. They dubbed it the American Mercedes. Yeah. All right. We got to get rolling. We're going to get to some automotive myths, and we're not going to get political, but we are going to talk about the debate a little bit because Governor Romney said something automotive related. We'll get to it. Dipsticks and deals on Real Talk 1160. Weather when you need it. Your Real Talk 1160 forecast every 15 minutes. Here's the forecast for Northern Kentucky, Cincinnati, and the Tri State. Well, this morning, we expect partly sunny skies on a high 54 today. We'll have some patchy frost overnight. Otherwise, it'll be clear and cool with a low 34. For Columbus Day, we'll have areas of frost in the morning. Otherwise, Monday should be sunny with a high 59. It'll be clear and cool Monday night at low 36. Tuesday should be sunny with a high of 66. From the Real Talk 1116 Weatherbug Forecast Center, this is Rod Tanner. I had five drunk driving charges in the last six years of my drinking, and I drank for over 55 years. My probation officer threatened me with a year in jail. So the next day I went to my first AA meeting. I had tried many times in my life to quit drinking, but always went back to even heavier drinking. For me, the AA program has been the easier, softer way to stop drinking. Alcoholics Anonymous, it works. 
Look us up. Check your phone book, newspaper, or aa.org. Amanda, age three. Carlos, age nine. An abducted child is everyone's child. Jada, age 14. To get free Amber Alerts on your cell phone, go to wirelessamberalerts.org. A child is calling for help. Brought to you by the Ad Council. Imagine you're reaching for a pen when you slip and... Yep, there goes your coffee. Right onto your computer. If you're one of the almost 50% of small businesses that don't back up their PCs, you've just lost data, and there's a good chance you'll lose sales. From human error to natural disasters, or even those little oops moments, there's always a risk of your computer system going down, and that could really hurt your business. Take it from Doug McDonald at the Cincinnati Museum Center. Like every other business, data is critically important. We have over 80,000 records of donors and members who are critical to our livelihood. That may be enough to make you give up coffee forever, but there's a better way. How does the Museum Center do it? Cincinnati Bell is a wonderful partner, and with them, I don't worry about these things. That gives me peace of mind. So don't swear off coffee just yet, because Cincinnati Bell is now offering data backup, part of our peace of mind suite. Get 25 gigs for just $25 for 12 months. Now that should help you relax, unless you've had too much coffee. Just call 513-2-BUNDLE or visit MyRightSolution.com slash backup. Cincinnati Bell, right here for you. If you drive a car, you must have this number, 1-800-828-0159. The number to STI Towing, the Tri-State's Towing Pros. STI handles most motor clubs, including AAA, and they offer prompt, courteous, and professional service all day and all night. Mention Real Talk 1160 and the first five miles are free. That's 1-800-828-0159. 1-800-828-0159 for STI Towing. Dennis Miller, we've got an app for that. I'm the guy who can't seem to figure out how to turn his radio down. Download TuneIn Radio for your Android, iPhone, or BlackBerry and listen to Real Talk 1160 anytime, anywhere. Place your hand on your heart. Measure the beats. One, two, three, four, five. That's how long it takes to protect your child's life. Five heartbeats. That's how long it takes to learn about the dangers of pesticides that could be found in your child's classroom. Asthma, lower IQ scores, and cancer have all been linked to prolonged exposure to these toxins. But if you knew there were toxin-free alternatives to pesticides, if you knew you had a voice regarding their use, if you knew you could take action that would make your child's classroom safe today, wouldn't you do something? In a heartbeat. Log on to earthshare.org today and find out how you can help. A public service message brought to you by Earthshare and the Ad Council. Did you know Fear Buick GMC in Hamilton has been family-owned and operated and serving the Tri-State since 1932? Isn't that the kind of dealership you want to buy your next car from? And because of that success, Fear Buick GMC announces their upcoming move later this year to their new 26,000-square-foot location between Menards and Coles near Bridgewater Falls. Come see Ray Tenley, Fear's general manager for the past 25 years, and tell him dipsticks and deals save you. Call 513-863-8111 or visit fearmotors.com. That's F-I-E-H-R-E-R Motors. Com. Hit us up on Facebook. Search Real Talk 1160. Welcome back to Dipsticks and Deals. Jimmy B, the third wheel, and Kenny Coltrane. I'm here. He's in studio with us today. Hey, real quick. You know, the chase in NASCAR is on, and today at 1 o'clock is the big track, Talladega. Shake and bake. Brad Keslowski, he's the uh, the leader in the chase. Jimmy Johnson and Denny Hamlin make up the top three. Um, of course, your Dale Earnhardt, your Tony Stewart, Casey Kane, Martin Truex, Kevin Harvick, Jeff Gordon, Greg Biffle. I love Sam Biffle. I love Sam Biffle. Matt Kenseth round out uh, the top 12 drivers in the chase. Talladega, this is going to be a good one. Uh, you know, Brad's going to – he's likely going to win it. He is the favorite. He's won Talladega twice. He's uh, – He's the pick. Jimmy Johnson, too. He's trying to go for seven championships, so he's in the hunt, too. The chase is getting heated up. I love Talladega. You want to hear some of my Talladega night one-liners? Yeah, if they're, if they're uh, quick and witty, yes, go ahead. <laughs> well, you remember this one from Ricky Bobby? Well, let me give you a saying from Colonel Sanders. I am this too, is stupid. I am <laughs> too drunk to taste this chicken. Remember that one? Oh, I do. I, I do. I am too drunk I love to taste nights. this chicken. Oh, man, I'll come at you like a spider monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I don't think that was the full quote, was it? 
says, old man, I'm going to come at you like a spider monkey. That's a great movie. It was. I like his prayers. Jacked up on Mountain Dew. Here's the deal. I'm the best there is. Plain and simple, I wake up in the morning and I piss on excellence. That's right. Well, I do. I don't know if you can say that on the radio or not. I know. It's like I lowered my voice like no one's going to hear me. And we're going <laughs> <we're gonna> to find out. <laughs> Watch your cell phone for a text. No one's going to hear me if I lower my voice. Auto myths, busted or bolstered. That's what we're going to talk about today. Because a lot of these, some of these things you probably heard, some of you maybe you haven't. But you might be surprised on a few of them, too. For instance, to get started, how about sugar in the gas tank? The myth is that sugar in a gas tank, if somebody does that to you, uh, you know, as an act of vandalism, that it will ruin your engine and ruin your fuel system completely. Busted or bolstered? I think that's got to be absolutely true. Well, you'd be wrong, Coltrane, because that myth is busted. The reason is sugar does not dissolve in gasoline. I was going to say if the elements aren't broken down. Don't, uh, don't try to get all Bill Nye. <laughs> Okay, tests have shown that sugar granules actually stay intact when they're uh, submerged in gasoline and lay at the bottom of the tank. If they did ap- actually happen to get sucked up into the fuel system, the fuel filter would trap them. They would never actually get into the fuel injectors, would never uh, get into the engine. So that's a busted myth. That that's sugar a myth? Ga- yes, it's a myth. Do you know myth. how much sugar I put in gas tanks? Well, and if it, all it could make a car not start, but that's only because the fuel filter would get impacted with sugar and then the car wouldn't start what about the banana and the tail exactly pie? from uh, <laughs> uh eddie murphy's beverly hills and you know Cop. and I'm, i didn't have it on the list but you know that's not true either that's a myth a potato or a banana and a tailpipe is when you start the car it blows it out that's a lot of pressure from four or six what if you cylinders. duct tape it in there well then you might have something happening but i don't know how you duct tape a banana when it just push the air back <laughs> <laughs> let's move forward <laughs> putting mothballs in your gas tank will raise your octane rating. I've Bolster, never even heard that. Yeah, a lot of people say, uh, and in the old days especially, put malt balls down into your gas tank and it'll raise your octane, bolstered or busted. What do you think? That's true. I don't know. I mean, it's both, actually. It's bolstered and busted. The reason is, in the old days, moth balls were made of naflohephalene. <laughs> Whatever that is. Well, it had an octane rating of 90. So uh, gas back in the day used between 60 and 80 octane. So, yeah, if you put mothballs moth in there, it would boost the octane rating of your gasoline. However, today's mothballs smell the same but are made out of paradichlorobazine. Paradichlorobazine. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh. Which does not have an octane rating and will not affect your fuel octane rating. But here's the thing. Uh, that dihychlorosobazine, paradichlorobazine, thank you, has shown to be toxic, and they are now beginning to go back to the former because it's bad for people. Which so. is nepethylene. That's what you say. Well, I'm starting to feel smarter, Jim. I noticed the chemical reaction doesn't really mix with the old type, so they're coming back with the new, well, you know. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> How about those deer whistles that you can buy? Do they work? What do you think? Well, what's uh, a deer whistle? Deer whistle. You buy them at the auto parts store. You mount them on the front of your bumper, and as you go down the road, it creates a frequency that irritates deer, and they run the other way. No, I don't. Oh. I don't think that works. Busted. I'd say you blow it, and then the deer looks at you, and you hit it again. Hit it anyway. Say blow it. What the are you whistle. About? The whistle blows. <laughs> no, you, know? you don't blow the whistle, you <laughs> moron. They're mounted on the front of your car. <laughs> The wind, the wind driving through <laughs> is what sounds the frequency, the wind from your car. Oh, I get it. But it is busted because an independent research firm did a study on these things, and here's the deal. Uh, they create two sound frequency. One is 3 kilohertz, one's 12 kilohertz. The problem is 3 kilohertz is a lower frequency, uh, producing less than 3 decibels more than the car actually moving down the road, so the deer can't differentiate uh, between the sound of the car and the whistle and the 12 kilohertz frequency is so high that they can't hear that anyway if you factor in road noise wind any noise the deer might be making eating doritos or something <laughs> uh and you wasted 10 bucks I mean, don't make fun of deer <laughs> hey, hey okay so if if but i did hear and this is on the street i did hear if you use modern mothballs with paradichlorobazine yes the whistle becomes a lot more clear this isn't this is just crazy talk at this point. 
Yeah, wait, wait a second. You actually thought that... <laughs> <laughs> you actually thought you could drive down the road and if you saw a deer <laughs> you actually thought if you drive it out a deer you actually thought Doritos deer eat Doritos I know for a fact Doritos don't, deers don't eat Doritos so you thought there was a whistle that you could blow to scare the deer away <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that was clear hey so here's crazy. one now, now we gotta get we gotta bring it get real here because this is serious here's the myth and I, I got a I got an an analogy here that you're really gonna have to pay attention to. What was that? The word? three thousand mile oil change. Oh yeah. Busted or bolstered? Busted. Here's the deal, guys. Busted. You have to consider a light bulb. And here's why. Okay. What does a light bulb box say on it? Five thousand hours, ten thousand hours, twenty thousand hours, they say long life, but how long does a light bulb really last? They don't, they don't last very long, no. do they? Especially the new ones. Exactly. Not very long most of the time. Now, if you go to the manufacturer, Sylvania, GE, or whoever, and you ask them about it, you're going to get the same spiel. They're going to tell you that it depends on a few factors, like how many times you turn the light on and off, etc. They're going to tell you the 20,000 hours and all that stuff. They won't tell you that their test was in optimal temperature and the ball was turned on once and left on until it burned out because light bulbs last longer if you turn them on and just leave them on. So it's how you drive. I'm getting there. Same scenario, but go ask a maintenance technician that works in an apartment building who actually replaces light bulbs. What do you think he's going to tell you? You're going to get the real world answer. You're going to get someone that knows how long they last inside, outside, in the hot weather, in the cold weather, etc. So my point here is... You can do what you want. If you ask the manufacturer of the oil, the manufacturer of the car, they're going to give you the marketing spiel, which is 5,000 miles, 7,500 miles, 10,000 miles to change oil. Go ask the technician. What will he say? He's going to tell you anywhere from three to 5,000 miles. And have, as I have said on the show before, I'm a 4,500 mile guy. I think that's legitimate with today's oil. But I've seen the damage. I've seen the dirt. It's something that you need to do more frequently when what, you're, what they're telling you. And that's why the owner's manual of an automobile has normal driving conditions and severe driving conditions. Does the weather have anything to do with that? The weather has a lot to do with it because the temperature uh, fluctuation, especially, condensation builds up in the oil. There isn't a whole lot they can do to motor oil to keep the condensation from happening, which they can retard the oxidation that happens. But I'm telling you, my car's got 225,000 miles on it. I drive it every day, and I've changed my oil every four to 4,500 miles. Busted or bolstered, it's your choice, but I'm just, that's... Well, everybody makes more money if they tell you every 3000 Hey, do you think storing a car battery on concrete will make it discharge faster? I think it's busted. It is busted. Now... I don't know about that. Well, these days it is busted. Now, years ago, battery cases were actually made out of a natural rubber compound, and they would actually discharge if you put them on a concrete floor. Why? It would suck the charge right through the rubber into the floor, the concrete would, and and it would discharge the battery a lot faster. Today, they make them out of polypropylene. It does not conduct electricity. Therefore, you can put a car battery on concrete, and it will not affect the charge. It will discharge at the same rate if it was sitting on wood or in your car. I don't believe you. Can you feel that? I feel the power. We got a few more myths, and we're going to get a little bit uh, political when we get back. Dip Six and Deals on Real Talk 1160. Weather when you need it. Your Real Talk 1160 forecast every 15 minutes. Here's the forecast for Northern Kentucky, Cincinnati, and the Tri State. Full this morning, we expect partly sunny skies on a high 54 today. We'll have some patchy frost overnight, otherwise, it'll be clear and cool with a low of 34. For Columbus Day, we'll have areas of frost in the morning. Otherwise, Monday should be sunny with a high of 59. It'll be clear and cool Monday night at low 36. Tuesday should be sunny with a high of 66. From the Real Talk 1116 Weatherbug Forecast Center, this is Rod Tanner. This is Melissa Flone, owner of La Crema Coffee Company in Westchester, Ohio. I love my morning coffee, and you will too when you start your day with a cup of La Crema coffee. We use 100% Colombian beans for all of our flavors and blends. We roast them fresh every day. You can get a bag and don't even have to leave your house to order some just 
click lacremacoffeecompany.com. That's L-A-C-R-E-M-A coffeecompany.com. This is Don Matalka. I just lost my 34-year-old wife to ovarian cancer. All women need to know the signs and symptoms. Early treatment can save your life. Learn more now, then pass it on. Go to Cincy with a Y, ovariancancer.org. Cincy, ovariancancer.org. Hey, it's the Wild Man from Real Sports 1160, here with my friend Rob Bullock from Bullock Roofing. Hey, Wild Man. Rob, I hear you guys are the roofing experts. That's right, Wild Man. If it has to do with a roof, we can handle it. Roof contracting and replacement, shingles, gutters, chimney repair, skylights. We even offer replacement windows. Now, what sets Bullock Roofing apart from the other guys? Wild Man, we are the roofing experts. We do it once, we do it right, and our pride shows in our work. Our customers mean the world to us, and they're satisfied. Satisfaction speaks volumes. We're based on old-fashioned value and fair prices. And word of mouth today is everything. That's right. Our popularity has grown thanks to our customers telling their family and friends about our quality work. Take it from Rob Bullock with Bullock Roofing. If you need help with your roof, gutters, chimney, even replacement windows, get the treatment you deserve from the experts at Bullock Roofing. We service the entire greater Cincinnati area. Find us on the web at BullockRoofing.com. That's BullockRoofing.com. Call us for a free estimate today at 513 771 Hey, uh, Cincinnati, you feeling a little frisky? According to Men's Health, Cincinnati was ranked in the top five for guys who have the best sex lives. Based on condom sales, sex toy sales, and how many pure romance items people are buying. A lot of times, though, it's just wishful thinking. Yeah. You buy a box, you know, hoping that box sits on the shelf for a while. <laughs> right. Or is that just me? Uh, no comment. <laughs> Cincinnati AM with Dean Muccio. Morning 7 to 9 on Real Talk 1160. Real Talk 1160 is on Facebook. It's okay to love us. Too bad Facebook only has a like button. Let us know what you think. Comment, unload, let loose, or praise away. Follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash realtalk1160. Imagine you're reaching for a pen when you slip and... Yep, there goes your coffee right onto your computer. If you're one of the almost 50% of small businesses that don't back up their PCs, you've just lost data, and there's a good chance you'll lose sales. From human error to natural disaster, or even those little oops moments. There's always a risk of your computer system going down, and that could really hurt your business. Take it from Doug McDonald at the Cincinnati Museum Center. Like every other business, data is critically important. We have over 80,000 records of donors and members who are critical to our livelihood. That may be enough to make you give up coffee forever, but there's a better way. How does the Museum Center do it? Cincinnati Bell is a wonderful partner, and with them, I don't worry about these things. That gives me peace of mind. So don't swear off coffee just yet, because Cincinnati Bell is now offering data backup, part of our peace of mind suite. Get 25 gigs for just $25 for 12 months. Now that should help you relax, unless you've had too much coffee. Just call 513-2-BUNDLE or visit myrightsolution.com slash backup. Cincinnati Bell, right here for you. You hear that sound? At Meyer, that's the sound of savings. Because with low Meyer prices, you can save on the items you use every day. So whenever you buy laundry detergent, you save. And whenever you buy diapers, you save. Toothpaste, pet food, coffee, save, save, save. So if low Meyer prices sound good to you, you love the sound of this. Wow, those savings really add up. Experience the savings, experience the difference. Meyer. Prepare to be entertained. Real Talk 1160. Shifting into second gear on Dipsticks and Deals, Real Talk 1160. You can reach us by calling 513-579-1160. We were talking about automotive myths, busted or bolstered. We've talked about deer whistles. (laughs) (laughs) That uh, third wheel thought there was a whistle you blew. You just kept it on your console, I guess, and if you saw a deer, you blew the whistle. Yeah, you stick your head out while they're eating Doritos, and you <laughs> just blow a whistle, and they'll move. Do dog whistles work? Because I've never had luck with a dog whistle. I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, I guess. I don't How would we know? Because they're on a frequency we can't hear. I heard it. So that's a pretty good marketing strategy. That is an awesome marketing strategy. Because you would never know if it worked or not. You wouldn't even know if it's broke. There you go. Hey, how about this myth? And you guys probably have seen this, but driving with your tailgate of a pickup truck down reduces drag and increases gas mileage, busted or bolstered. I'm going to say... I'm going to say that's true. I'm going to say... Well, it depends on how fast you're going. I'm going to say bolstered. Well, you're wrong. It's busted, and here's why. I don't like this game. Here's why. With the gate up, okay, you create a stagnant air mass that hovers over the bed like a tonneau cover, 
and it does reduce wind resistance. Tailgate down, you don't get the air mass, which increases drag and reduces fuel economy. Have you ever seen like a Coke can or a paper oh, flipping yeah, yeah. around in the back of a pickup truck? Yeah, that's right. That's that stagnant air mass that it creates, which increases your uh, aerodynamics and gives you better gas mileage. And Mythbusters yeah, yeah, I did see, this yeah. on their show and proved it to be true. And it, well, Wait a minute. Let me ask you a question True. about. Uh, let me ask you a question about those trucks. Is, you see the semis now with that new bottom piece. Yeah. You yeah. ever see that? Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, why don't they just build the truck down lower? Uh, expense probably. I you do w- see I some think. trucks like that. You do see some, but the, as low as those um, airfoils are, the truck would bottom out. What's that in do? and out of places? What's that do? Just to decrease lift. Well, it keeps the air from going around the tractor part of the truck under the underneath and lifting the truck. It keeps the it hits those and deflects the air away from the truck, so it does increase fuel mileage. Now, have you seen the ones that got the foils on the back of the truck? Yes, I do. Yeah, they got these giant flaps where the back doors are mm-hmm. that really make the thing super aerodynamic, like a race car. So never saw that before. Yeah, in in an attempt to save fuel, and I guess it does work. Um, Speaking of that, and speaking of wind resistance, drafting a semi truck will increase your fuel mileage. Busted or bolstered? Dangerous. I'm going to say busted because you're just getting smacked with all that air. Well, it is busted. You're right. Um, this only wor- This does the theory works, and a lot of people think of it because of NASCAR. Talladega. And it does work in NASCAR, but here's the thing: it only works at a high rate of speed. And both vehicles have to be very aerodynamic and have minimal undercar wind flow, which is why the trucks have those big panels on them. Uh, the most you're going to get if you try to do this is a ticket or a hospital stay. It's, it is very dangerous, like Col- Coltrane said. You yeah, I stay away from them big old trucks. And here's the thing. It does create an immense amount of drag. So when you do this, the guy driving the semi-truck knows you're doing it. Even if he can't see you in the mirrors, he knows you're back there because he can feel it. It creates turbulence. Really? And he will feel it in the cab of the truck. That's why you could get brake lighted. That's why if you ever get too close to a semi, he'll swerve a little bit to let you know, make you think he's crazy, I guess, so you back off. It's because he can feel that turbulence, and it's killing his power. My dad drove a truck for 41 years, and his grand, his dad drove a truck. Never heard that once. Yeah. Well, he, he never could. talked to me, but... <laughs> I you, wonder if he's making some of this stuff up. No, it's true. You can. I've I've experienced that. You can actually feel the turbulence if you get close enough, and them guys don't like it. Hey, how about putting an aspirin in a dead battery can rejuvenate it? I wouldn't even. Well, I I'm going to try something. Like I'm going to say bolster just because of the chemical reaction. You are absolutely right. Third wheel. Um, there is a reaction. The acid that's uh, in the aspirin combines with the sulfuric acid in the battery, and it will create a charge. Now. Depending on how dead the battery is, this may or may not work. And before you ride around with a bottle of aspirin under your hood, most new bottles are sealed and non-serviceable, so you really don't have access to put an aspirin in them to begin with. But there are some that have removable cell caps. You can uh, drop two aspirin into each cell. Baby aspirin? Or big people aspirin? Big people aspirin. All right. And it will rejuvenate the battery enough if you've just left your lights on or something and you don't have jumper cables, nobody's around. So it could potentially work for you. However, that has to be dangerous. Messing with a battery can be bad news and we don't recommend it. So, is that a myth that them things can just blow up when you're carrying them? You know how everybody puts towels and stuff over top of them? Does that ever happen? I have never, I've seen batteries explode, yes, top off explode. I've never seen it while somebody's carrying it, but here's the thing. If the battery has a loose plate in it, which is a lead plate, Uh if it falls and shorts out, Oh. Yes, you could have an explosion, and I've seen them explode underneath uh, the hood. Well, I thought it was that just a shaking of the acid. That's when we put the water. Well, it's the shaking, but if you shake a plate loose, because, oh, it, I got because you. it's defective. It touches or, another plate. Yeah, what if somebody maybe dropped the battery and, and damaged a plate, and now you pull it out, and you're carrying it, and you wiggle it, and it falls and shorts. And well, so if you're carrying a bar- battery, it is best to put a towel well, or something over I'm gonna, it. Uh, the towel's not going to help you much. It might save your eyeballs. It, it it could help some. So, yes, I would agree with that, Coltrane. But if you've ever seen a battery explode, it ain't pretty. Um, you're going to get acid burn for sure. So stay away from it. Don't mess with them. Um, how about this one? Can jump starting a newer car with jumper cables ruin the electric system of the car? 
Absolutely. Bolstered or busted? Busted. Which one? I don't know. I say true. It is true. That is bolstered. I was just guessing. With all the computer sensors and such on late model cars, the possibility of a voltage spike damaging an electrical component is very real. Now, most people would think that have heard this, that the spike comes from if you aren't careful putting the cables on and they arc. That's not where the voltage spike comes from. The voltage spike comes when you take the cables off, off. of the battery because the alternator charges by demand. And when you have the cables on, the demand is a lot less because you've got juice from the other car. Oh. When you take that battery cable off and that demand jumps up quickly because you still have a weak battery, right. the spark or the spike comes from the alternator and it will overjuice computers, modules, sensors, and you can damage the cars. So be careful. In fact, they'd make battery jumper cables now that eliminate this. I don't know how they work. I don't really use them that and much. And probably $600. Yes. Don't ever do that to me again. Stop hitting your paper. You know, the Jimmy B, I don't know what the third wheel's doing over there. Are you watching him? I know. He's rubbing his nose on a microphone, which is quite disgusting. I had an itch. Are you having a reaction to something, sir? I had an itch. Once you start using synthetic motor oil, can you go back to regular oil? I would want to say yes, but I have some follow-up on all this when you're done. Okay, well, the myth is once you start using synthetic motor oil, and I've heard this in shops before, you can't go back to regular oil, and that is busted. Yeah. As long as you use the same weight and viscosity oil, it doesn't matter. You can change it back and forth as much as you want. But as I always say, the benefits of synthetic oil are designed for high temperature, high rev, low tolerance engines like you'd find in a Corvette, a Viper, a GTR. You're not gaining the benefit in a standard engine. As you are, as j you're just susceptible to engine problems with synthetic as you are with standard oil. Change your oil more often, and you get better than synthetic results. What do you got third wheel? Because I'm sure it's going to be really stupid. Going <laughs> with, <laughs> with the synthetic stuff, if I'm changing my oil at company A, which is not, a say, a Volkswagen, not a Volkswagen dealer. Why do you reference Volkswagen every time you do something? Because I have Volkswagen. <laughs> And then I get a Volkswagen dealership, and they're going to put synthetic oil and do all this stuff, but they're going to charge me 100 bucks. Right, And then right. I go to your place, and you charge me 30 bucks or 60 bucks. What's the difference? Is there a difference in synthet synthetic <laughs> oil if it's, few, uh, what is that, uh, all synthetic oil or whatever? Full synthetic, and yeah. then there's synthetic blend, and, and higher, then there's standard motor oil. Higher heat. So Syn if I get full synthetic blend from both people, uh -huh. why do I get two different prices and... One says it's going to last longer. Don't come back Probably for 7500 because you get synthetic oil at a VW dealer. It's going to be VW brand. Aha. It's a higher price. Is it a better oil? oil? No. Not a better oil. Bust it. <laughs> We're going to move forward. We're going to take a break. Don't go anywhere. This is Dipsticks and Deals on Real Talk 1160. Oh, If there was an emergency, would your family have enough water and non-perishable food to last three days? We asked families across the country. Here are some of their answers. We usually eat fresh food daily. In the pantry of canned Beans, tomatoes. Uh, that's really not survival food, tomato what? paste. The brand of dog food that I do purchase are edible by humans. Is your plan any better? To learn more about making an emergency plan for your family, go to ready.gov. This message brought to you by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security and the Ad Council. Real Talk 1160. WQRT Florence, Cincinnati. Cincinnati's home for Dean Muccio, Laura Ingram, Mike Huckabee, and Real Sports with Wild. Wild Man Walker. Crank it up to 11. From America's Radio News, I'm Claire Beverly. Gasoline prices in California are seeing another peak today, a day after passing a four-year high and overall record. According to AAA, the average price per gallon has gone up four cents since yesterday to $4.65 and a half cents. A temporary reduction in supply due to some refinery disruptions is giving California the most expensive gas in the country. AAA spokesman Michael Green says it's hard to say when prices will go back down. No one really knows what's going to happen. No one could have predicted that prices would have jumped as high as they have so far this week. It's only anyone's best guess what might happen through the rest of the month. 
Americans in Islamabad, Pakistan, are being warned to stay away from government buildings and several major hotels in the city because of the threat of terrorism. The U.S. Embassy in Islamabad cites a general threat alert from the Ministry Interior of the Government of Pakistan, warning of terrorist attacks aimed at certain government buildings downtown and several hotels that are popular with visitors. The pharmacy at the center of a fungal meningitis outbreak now linked to seven deaths is voluntarily recalling all of their products. The CDC says more than 60 Four people in nine states have been sickened by a contaminated batch of an injected preservative-free steroid called methylprednisolone, which is used to treat pain and inflammation. The New England Compounding Center, based in Massachusetts, voluntarily recalled three lots of the injected steroid last week, but yesterday announced a voluntary nationwide recall of all of its other products. A volatile volcano has erupted again in northern Indonesia, spewing smoke and ash that caused muddy rain to fall in nearby villages. A local monitoring officer says Mount Lokan erupted today as heavy rain fell around its cloud-covered crater. It was the second eruption since last month from Mount Lokan. Indonesia straddles the Pacific Ring of Fire. Your first stop for breaking news. This is America's Radio News. I see gold prices are bouncing around a bit. I guess riding the gold bull this year will take a little more guts for many investors. But not me. I buy gold on price tips and then hope and pray it dips further. Why? Because long ago I learned from Craig Smith in Swiss America that the portion of my portfolio I hold in gold is my wealth insurance against a complete currency or financial collapse. Look, no one likes to buy insurance, but would you drive your car without it? No, because it protects your investment. The same goes for my gold wealth insurance. I hope and pray I never get in a car accident or need my gold. But if and when I do, I cherish the wise advice from Swiss America to protect my hard-earned money with hard-owned money. Call Swiss America now, 800-289-2646, 800-BUY-COIN. Get their 2012 Wealth Insurance Kit, 800-289-2646, 800-BUYCOIN. Don't worry about market volatility. Get some wealth insurance, then relax. Weather when you need it. Your Real Talk 1160 forecast every 15 minutes. Here's a forecast for northern Kentucky, Cincinnati, and the Tri-State for this afternoon. Cloudy, then gradually becoming mostly sunny. High near 54. For tonight, patchy frost after 5 a.m., otherwise mostly clear, low 34. For Columbus Day, Monday, sunny with a high near 56 areas of frost before 10 a.m. From the Real Talk 1160 Weatherbug Forecast Center, this is Jim Tice. Selling Girl Scout cookies has taught me how to manage money, be responsible, and talk to other people. On a visit to the food bank, I learned that in this economy, more and more people need help to feed their families. Every Girl Scout cookie has a mission, to help girls do great things. You want speed? You want power? You want style? You want something that turns heads? Then you want Easy Street Speed and Customs in Milford. Easy Street offers everything from minor repairs to full restoration, custom builds, late model mod, performance parts, and an on-site dyno for real performance tuning. Hot rods and cool rides at Easy Street Speed and Custom, 701 Chamber Drive in Milford, 513-831-7550. That's 513-831-7550. License and registration. But I'm walking. Do you want to upset an officer of the law? No, sir. Good. I pulled you over today for littering. Uh, I didn't litter. (laughs) Wow. That's what they all say. Unfortunately, I saw you drop a pair of thunder thighs a few blocks back. Probably happened as you were biting into that apple you're holding. Uh, How'd you know they're my thunder thighs? Well, my young friend, I'd like to say two years in the police academy helped figure it out. But between us, it was smallstep.gov. Smallstep.gov? Yep, a Rooney. It's this site with tons of easy ways to lose weight. Some steps are so easy, people don't realize they're doing them. Like you taking small step number 83, snack on fruits. Go to smallstep.gov, you'll see. You can drive off now. I'm still walking. Take a small step to get healthy at smallstep.gov. A public service announcement brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Jerry Doyle. But what did CNN really want? They wanted a tragedy, but they're calling it a miracle. The very same network that seems to spend most of its time denouncing religion is quick to call something a miracle. The Jerry Doyle Show, weeknights at 7 on Real Talk 1160. Between the economy and the price of gas, how about a way to save some money for a change? Lower your insurance premium with help from Huseman Schmidt Insurance. They understand more than most because they've been local, family, 
family owned and part of your community since 1976. Huseman Schmidt's expertise and common sense approach have helped their clients protect their assets and save money. For all your business and personal insurance needs, call Huseman Schmidt at 513-521-8590 and ask for Rob or AJ or visit HuesmanSchmidt.com. Huseman Schmidt cares. Real sports. Now for three hours, three till six on Real Talk 1160. Welcome to Dipsticks and Deals with Jimmy B and the Third Wheel on Real Talk 1160. Everything you need to know about cars, buying, financing, trading, maintenance, repairs, auto body, and more. Join the program by calling 513-579-1160. Now, here are your hosts, Jimmy B and the Third Wheel on Real Talk 1160. Welcome back to Deer Whistles and Deals. Hey, man, thinking about, <laughs> hey, I was thinking as I was washing my hands, I was thinking that, you know why the deer can't hear me blowing my whistle when why? I'm driving? Why? Because they're eating Doritos and they're crunchy. They are. Doritos are loud. If they weren't eating the Doritos, they could hear me. What you know, the, what? Deers, <laughs> if they eat Doritos, they're not going to hear the deer whistles on the front of your car or or the whistle that third wheel blows when you, i don't know where you get that but i wish we had some doritos that sounds uh. good hey folks don't forget about sti towing um as the temperature starts to get cooler batteries begin to fail overheating issues start to come about if you end up in trouble sti towing 859-525-8697 first five miles are free if you mention real talk 1160 or dipsticks and deals is that true that is true. <laughs> no, true about batteries and the weather. <laughs> yes. How did we go there? Heat heat can destroy a battery, but so can cold. Okay. I didn't know if it was busted. What's going on? Because I got angered when I saw fuel prices this week. What are you Bounce talking up about? Friday. What's the fuel prices? Where are we at? Okay, early? AAA reports national average is at 381 regular gas. 409 for diesel. And I'm, that's why I'm asking you. What are you talking about? It's lower than it has been. Because, I mean, we're seeing around here in the greater Cincinnati area, 353 low for regular. You ain't seeing that today. 387. You're not seeing that today. Well, I'm going to go get gas today, and we'll find out. But I'm telling you right now, that's what it says. Not in California. They went, it went through the roof. I heard they went yeah. higher in Hawaii now. It's over four, four something. Yeah, they won't uh, give them the permits to do the winter mix. Well, triple, right. triple A is reporting 379 a gallon unleaded high average. What was that again? Say that again. $3.79 as a high for unleaded. 420 for diesel in the tri state. Okay. Cuz I'm 379 here and I paid 380 something or another the other day. So, anger. And I know they're getting ready to put the winter fuel in the ground, so and it it's higher in the winter because it's got the boost for cold starts and all that stuff. So, it's going to go up, but please continue. No, I I just I, we're at the point now like we're getting satisfied with this. That fuel is, and that's by design. Sure. That's why it's, there's got to be a change because we can't be excited about three dollar and fifty cent gas. It's the greatest sales bump. It is. I mean, really, seriously, you bumped us. They bumped us. Now, if we go to four two, years ago, it was under two dollars a gallon. Exactly. So if they come to two fifty, we're all cool. That, I mean, that's the no. mindset what people are thinking. I know. I know. It's sales bump. That's how the sales people do it. I, I don't like it. I don't like the bump. I'll sell you my house for a million dollars, and then turn around and actually sell it to you for two hundred thousand. And you, you know, think you're getting a deal. You probably wouldn't have to be awfully concerned uh, about gas prices with this week's car of the week. This, I think, may be our... No, we had... Did we have the GTR Nissan as car of the week? I, don't I think know. we did. Okay. So this might be the second non-American car of the week. And what it is, it's a 1969 Toyota 2000 GT. A lot of people have no idea. I have no idea because I didn't think anything Toyota made. <clears throat> well, listen, I'm going to put this on our Facebook page. It's a two-liter inline-six car, dual overhead cam, 180 horsepower, three-deuce carb setup, five-speed manual trans, limited slip rear diff. Now, you may have seen a Bond car that you thought was a Ferrari. In fact, in the film You Only Live Twice, James Bond actually drives a 69 Toyota 2000 GT convertible. People think it's a Ferrari. It was a Toyota. Did it rust? Did not rust. In fact, these cars right now are getting over $350,000 at auction. Wow. How many were made? Uh, not a whole, whole lot. You know how many tractors you can buy with that kind of money? But this is a really slick, cool car, Toyota. This is the predecessor to the Celica and ultimately the Supra. 
They should have kept making a car like this because it's kind of that Jaguar-ish Ferrari look, and it, it's a cool car. I'll put it on Facebook. Check it out. 69 Toyota 2000 GT. Dipstick of the week? Me. All right. Follow me here because Robert Matt, that's his name, Robert Christopher Matt, 32 years old, from Atlanta, Georgia, in Gwinnett County. Robert was uh, driving intoxicated last week. In fact, he crashed and flipped his car over twice on Highway 81 around 1 o'clock in the morning. Then he took off from the scene, leaving his girlfriend, who was also in the car, to fend for herself. Dipstick uh, offense number one. It gets better, though. Robert's girlfriend was found wandering with minor injuries along the road about a half mile from the accident. And Robert was found at home where he ran some five miles away from the scene. What? He, too, had scraped, bumps, bruises. Uh. It gets better still. You see, Robert was a Gwinnett County Sheriff's deputy. Oh, no. He was off duty, of course. It was 1 o'clock in the morning. He was out partying with his girlfriend. And yet, the car that he totaled... Sheriff car. ...was his Gwinnett County Sheriff's Patrol car. Nice. Oh, no! Robert, Matt... suck again! Atlanta, Georgia, you are the dipstick of the week. That's just crazy. I don't think he ever thought he'd get caught. Big game today. Cincinnati's playing Miami, right? That's right. We got Talladega. We got Cincinnati Reds. And... Lots of tailgating. And I think tailgating is cool. And Third Wheel is about to have a conniption because he's not ready <laughs> with his segment again. But I will tell you, we had already mentioned the Pumpkin Run Nationals, Claremont County Fairgrounds. Today's the last day for that. Check out dipsticksanddeals.com because we have cruise in and car show information on our homepage. Scroll down to the bottom. Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. There are links so that you can keep up and see what's going on where. Plan your weekends, go out with the family, have a good time, food, music, cool cars. Check out dipsticksanddeals.com. You can also listen to our archives there. You can uh, advertise with us, hit the Advertise on DND tab to be a sponsor, and a whole bunch of other stuff. A little insight into Third Wheel and myself, Jimmy B. And we're going to get a cold train if he'd let us get a picture of him and get that on our site, too, so you can get a little insight into the world of Kenny Coltrane. Well, I don't know why she'd want to do something like that. Pit stop recipe? Are we ready? <laughs> I guess. Oh no! This is something I do like. Oh no! And I, 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 I'm be honest with you. I don't know if this is the recipe that I like, but I love cocktail meatballs <laughs> in a slow cooker. I like them too. Just I don't like when you say them like that. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Go ahead. You got about forty five seconds. <laughs> well. Okay, I want to read the recipe, but... Read it. It's uh, You got meatballs. <laughs> okay, good. You got three-quarter cup chili sauce, mm-hmm. one-eight ounce can of... Here it is. Jelly cranberry sauce. Yum. I don't use cranberry. I use grape. Okay. All right, just to let you know, Fair that's the difference. This sounds disgusting. Three tablespoons of minced onions, a half cup bread crumbs, two tablespoons of water, one and a half teaspoons of lemon juice, and a half a teaspoon of brown sugar. Good. Basically, it, I mean, you cook the meatballs if you want, or you can buy them frozen, put them in a crock pot, put that stuff in there, and slow cook it. And did you, you, did you just say you're going to put grapes? Did grape, I, grape, grape jelly. Grape jelly and meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way I like it. It's good. It is good. It is good. You need to I try think it. I'm in bizarro world. <laughs> no, it's Man, good. you will eat the whole pot. It's is very, good? very good. It's something you can make beforehand. Go to your pit stop party or tailgate party. Yeah. And uh, you'll be the uh, the life of the party. They'll go fast. When we come back, we're going to talk about the debate and what it has to do with automobiles when we come back. You're listening to Dipsticks and Deals on Real Talk 1160. Unprepared! Weather when you need it. Your Real Talk 1160 forecast every 15 minutes. Here's a forecast for northern Kentucky, Cincinnati, and the Tri-State for this afternoon. Cloudy, then gradually becoming mostly sunny. High near 54. For tonight, patchy frost after 5 a.m., otherwise mostly clear, low 34. For Columbus Day, Monday, sunny with a high near 56 areas of frost before 10 a.m. From the Real Talk 1160 Weatherbug Forecast Center, this is Jim Tice. 
Sports are being played all over the city. For all those sprains, breaks, and treatment, there's only one orthopedic and sports medicine team in town. That's Wellington. Jeff Picoro here, and I know when my team suffers a setback, we head to Wellington to take advantage of their excellent doctor care and top-notch therapy, even if it's in the evening after a practice or a game. That's right. Both the Anderson and Western Ridge Wellington offices offer after-hours care Monday through Friday till 9 o'clock and Saturdays till 1 p.m. with no appointment necessary. For all things Wellington, log on to wellingtonortho.com. Get well, get Wellington. My grandson always tells me I worry about him too much. Well, I was worried sick when he came home from Afghanistan. He came back wounded. Many of our warriors return from the battlefield with post-traumatic stress disorder. Help support them at woundedwarriorproject.org. Hey, it's the Wild Man from Real Sports 1160 here with my friend Rob Bullock from Bullock Roofing. Hey, Wild Man. Rob, I hear you guys are the roofing experts. That's right, Wild Man. If it has to do with a roof, we can handle it. Roof contracting and replacement, shingles, gutters, chimney repair, skylights. We even offer replacement windows. Now what sets Bullock Roofing apart from the other guys? Wild man, we are the roofing experts. We do it once, we do it right, and our pride shows in our work. Our customers mean the world to us, and their satisfaction speaks volumes. We're based on old-fashioned value and fair prices. And word of mouth today is everything. That's right. Our popularity has grown thanks to our customers telling their family and friends about our quality work. Take it from Rob Bullock with Bullock Roofing. You need help with your roof, gutters, chimney, even replacement windows. Get the treatment you deserve from the experts at Bullock Roofing. We service the entire greater Cincinnati area. Find us on the web at bullockroofing.com. That's bullockroofing.com. Call us for a free estimate today at 513-771-2096. Did you know Fear Buick GMC in Hamilton has been family owned and operated and serving the tri-state since 1932? Isn't that the kind of dealership you want to buy your next car from? And because of that success, Fear Buick GMC announced is their upcoming move later this year to their new 26,000 square foot location between Menards and Coles near Bridgewater Falls. Come see Ray Tenley, Fear's general manager for the past 25 years and tell him dipsticks and deals save you. Call 513-863-8111 or visit fearmotors.com. That's F-I-E-H-R-E-R motors.com. Laura Ingram? Yeah, ding, 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 ding. We've got an app for that. Oh, fantastic. Download TuneIn Radio for your Android, iPhone, or BlackBerry and listen to Real Talk 1160 anywhere, anytime. Your healthy radio addiction. Imagine you're reaching for a pen when you slip and... Yep, there goes your coffee right onto your computer. If you're one of the almost 50% of small businesses that don't back up their PCs, you've just lost data, and there's a good chance you'll lose sales. From human error to natural disasters, or even those little oops moments, there's always a risk of your computer system going down, and that could really hurt your business. Take it from Doug McDonald at the Cincinnati Museum Center. Like every other business, data is critically important. We have over 80,000 records of donors and members who are critical to our livelihood. That may be enough to make you give up coffee forever, but there's a better way. How does the Museum Center do it? Cincinnati Bell is a wonderful partner, and with them, I don't worry about these things. That gives me peace of mind. So don't swear off coffee just yet, because Cincinnati Bell is now offering data backup, part of our peace of mind suite. Get 25 gigs for just $25 for 12 months. Now that should help you relax, unless you've had too much coffee. Just call 513-2-BUNDLE or visit MyRightSolution.com slash backup. Cincinnati Bell, right here for you. Whether you want a little bit of this or a little bit of that, number one Kings Kia has it all. With the best selection in town, get a 2012 Kia Soul for as little as $14.9. Sock monkey included. Let's go one better. Choose from the all-new 40 MPG 2012 Kia Rio for Tayer Soul for as little as $14.9. Wrap and hamps are not included, but free oil changes are. And with the best in the biz, 10-year, 100,000-mile limited warranty, these deals are hard to beat. <laughs> Kings Kia. Visit us online at kingskia.com or in the King's Auto Mall. You're going to look great by the will of you, Kia. I guarantee it. Download the free TuneIn Radio app and listen anytime to Real Talk 1160. Welcome back to Dip Sticks and Deals on Real Talk 1160. We're shifting into third gear, and we think we figured out why the third wheel is just not with it today. Why is that? Because I was flying. I think it's the altitude. Five, <laughs> five, five to 30,000 feet in the air. I think it's the altitude. That affects people. That's what I heard lately. That's what, uh, that's what I heard from Al. Did you notice how thick Al Gore's head is now? <laughs> Dude, he got large. It's 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 ear to shoulder. He's got a big neck. <laughs> yep, he, shoulder, he wasn't man. like that. Oh. See what happens when you run for president and are elected, you turn gray quickly. Look at Obama. Yep. And when you don't get elected, you get depressed, you eat a lot, and you get a big fat Gore neck. <laughs> and you talk about altitude. Altitude. Very good. Gore neck. 
You know, we, this is we. This is not a politically based show. We we try to steer away from politics. However, they stepped in it because during the debate, Governor Romney mentioned something that had to do with the automotive industry, and we wanted to go into that just a little bit because a lot of people don't know. A lot of people don't know the depth of the automotive stimulus aside and on top of what they did for GM and Chrysler. Um, Governor Romney said that he was told. He had a friend tell him, you don't just pick winners and losers, you pick losers. Right. Uh, and then he mentioned Tesla, Fisker, and Enron One. Tesla, just so you know, they're a California-based company. They got $465 million in federal stimulus money. They are to produce a full electric vehicle. This is part of the green energy initiative that President Obama went. So Tesla, now... Tesla is still in operation, however. they These cars that they build, their base model car, is somebody calling? <laughs> Sounds like it. Nobody knows where that's coming from. Oh, down the street. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a deer whistle thing. <laughs> the deer calling her, man. It was on that frequency. These Tesla electric cars, their lowest model is fifty grand. Well, see, that's after the right. tax break from the government. You get a seventy five hundred dollar tax break tax credit if you buy one of these, but they're fifty grand even after that. Their lowest model for fifty grand is a forty kilowatt, which means you can go about 150, 160 miles and then you gotta recharge it. Beyond the forty, it goes ten grand increments to get a car that goes longer range. Well, that's so you can easily spend dumb. eighty thousand dollars on a full electric sedan car. Well, I just would rather pay higher fuel prices than that. But then over time, those batteries are going to wear down. So then your mileage right. would actually be a lot lower. Right. Tesla is one of the cars that Governor Romney mentioned. One of the companies. The other one he mentioned, automotive related, is Fisker. And Fisker is based in Anaheim, California, and they have also a plug-in sedan called the Karma. They got $169 million. Well, actually, they've spent $169 million. They, they actually were attributed $528 million in federal money. Um, but they were cut off because they didn't meet the loan conditions. Um, they're a contract builder, and here's the thing. The government says we're going to give you Fisker in Am Anaheim, California, under this green energy initiative, $528 million. Um, they don't even build the cars here. They designed them here, and they're built in Finland. Wow. I got a problem with that. Well, sure, son. The Karma model. Okay, I think Justin Bieber has one of these. Bieber? <laughs> these cars are $100,000. Okay, it's a, it's a $100,000 electric car. They have a mid-sized car called the Fisker Nina, which will be less, but still not affordable by the general public. So even the couple of companies, or the one company, Tesla, who apparently is on track to do what they said, they're building, a, and really the $50,000, 40-kilowatt car is not even available yet. So they're making the 60, 80, and 100-kilowatt cars, which are anywhere from sixty to $100,000. Can't buy one of those. Um, doesn't make sense. You're not going to save any money, and you know what I'm saying. Fisker, on the other hand, they were cut off because they didn't meet the loan conditions. The cars were built in Finland. Why are we giving them money? The other one that Governor Romney mentioned was Enter One, which is a company designed to uh, create full electric lithium-ion batteries made for all these electric cars. They filed bankruptcy in January. That's sad. So he's over in his investments. Well, it gets deeper, and that's why I did a little homework on this. A123 or A123 system is another green federal stimulus-funded company that makes lithium-ion batteries for these hybrids. Um, it was kind of a surprise that they even announced that they were going to give them any money because they had such credit issues and such. But most recently, they sold this company to a Chinese industrial group. Oh, man. So Come now on. the Chinese have control of A123. And they make the batteries for Fisker. Hasn't who makes their cars in Finland, whom the taxpayers have funded in stimulus. And 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 it hasn't some of these companies isn't there some companies that have been successful at making it, like Ford and that have made some 
headway and and uh, and they're they're yeah yeah they're making they're making headway. Ford has a full the EV car that they have, which is a full electric car. Yeah, but how much is that thing? It's a lot less than this, with these cars. These are these are luxury hybrid cars or luxury electric sedans is what Tesla and Fisker build. Fisker right. build. This is who they gave the money to. Um, the stimulus for for you know Ford didn't take the stimulus money. That's what I mean. Long. There's got to be some private companies out there that aren't the yeah Ford, on the government Ford's handout. Ford's cutting edge. They've got a car that's competing, and in fact, they say will do better uh, range wise than the Toyota full electric um, Prius. So or the the uh, Prius C. So Ford is doing incredible uh, leaps and bounds above a lot of these other folks, and they're more affordable cars. They're not they're not inexpensive. Don't get me wrong. Right. But they're a lot less expensive than the Tesla and the Fisker, Fisker, who the government gave them all the money, or I should say the taxpayer gave them all the money. Um, another green company, um, just like Solyndra, everybody knows about Solyndra, um, Abound Solar, they also filed bankruptcy after uh, receiving stimulus money from the government. In fact, that company who was to make solar panels, roof panels for cars. Rechargeable. Rechargeable roof panels right. for cars. They also made rechargeable, because th- this energy stimulus wasn't just relative to the automotive industry. It was energy as a whole. So they made solar panels to go on top of buildings and, and companies that could reduce their electrical consumption. They were so poorly designed that the ones they installed, they had to go take back off the roofs of these buildings. They filed bankruptcy. Abound Solar, another one that was giving millions of dollars by the Obama administration. Um, just real quick to go through this list, <clears throat> Solar Trust of America, they filed bankruptcy April 3rd. They were given stimulus money by the Obama administration. Bright Source, um, they even told Energy Department officials in March that if they delayed a $1.6 billion loan guarantee that it would probably embarrass the White House. So they gave them the money, and the company lost billions of dollars, and they keep giving them money. They just gave them another $500 million, and it's not working. Solyndra, we know about Solyndra. Um, LSP Energy is another one that was given money. They filed for bankruptcy. Um, we talked about a bound solar. How about Sun Power? They uh, stopped producing solar cells last year uh, and filed bankruptcy. Um, well, I like, I like the sound of an engine anyway. Yeah, and it, it just goes on and on. $43 million was given to Beacon Power, who filed bankruptcy uh, in October. Ecotality, $115 million, bankrupt. A123 Solar, we talked about. Unisolar is another one filed Chapter 11 in uh, Chapter 11 bankruptcy in June of this year. That's a long list. All them companies failed? There's 19 of them total. Azure Dynamics, they also failed. $527 million of taxpayer money was giving, given to Evergreen Solar. They filed bankruptcy. We talked about Enter One. Well, the thing is, is they apparently the administration just sucks at... Investing money into green energy, but why would he ever stop or the administration stop? Because they're going to have to keep going until they think they can get it right. Well, here's the thing, though. A lot of these companies relative to the energy and the stimulus money, and this is billion, $90 billion oh, dollars yeah. we're talking about. The lithium, lithium ion batteries for the hybrid or the electric cars, the electric cars, which are so horribly expensive, aren't going to be for everyday drivers the other part of it they're putting all this money in solar solar cost about 35 cents per kilowatt hour versus coal and natural gas which is like three to five cents an hour dude i can go to vegas and spend somebody else's money really really well, we'll that's finish. what he's doing we'll, we'll wrap up this energy and our money when we come back <laughs> tips dicks and deals on real talk 1160 <laughs> Weather when you need it. Your Real Talk 1160 forecast every 15 minutes. Here's a forecast for northern Kentucky, Cincinnati, and the Tri-State for this afternoon. Cloudy, then gradually becoming mostly sunny. High near 54. For tonight, patchy frost after 5 a.m., otherwise mostly clear, low 34. For Columbus Day Monday, sunny with a high near 56 areas of frost before 10 a.m. 
From the Real Talk 1160 Weatherbug Forecast Center, this is Jim Tice. Please listen closely. We have some great news. Most people today are spending way too much for their cell phone service. Now introducing a plan never heard of before. You can get unlimited voice, texting, and data for only $49 a month and get this, no contract. More great news, it's on one of the top three carriers, far surpassing the service of AT&T, according to Consumers Report. Now, are you ready for this? You can share this great news with friends and family, and when you do, you can actually get paid for using your cell phone. And folks, that's only the beginning. There's too much to share during this short time. If you'd like to save money or see an opportunity that could change your life, call me right now at 734-480-9000. Ask for John. Please don't pass up an opportunity that could save you money and possibly change your life without at least getting more information. Call me right now at 734-480-9000. That's 734-480-9000. Hey folks, Jimmy B here. Did you know that one of the most important structural aspects of your vehicle is the windshield? It accounts for almost 50% of the rollover strength. That's why you must choose the right company for windshield repair and replacement, and that's Mel's Auto Glass. Mel's Auto Glass has certified professionals serving the Tri-State for more than 25 years. Don't trust something so important to anyone else. The experts at Mel's Auto Glass for quality, value, and peace of mind. Call 513-563-7771. That's 513-563-7771. If there was an emergency and your family was separated, would everyone know where to meet? For more information on making an emergency plan, go to ready.gov. This message brought to you by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security and the Ad Council. Violence, theft, drugs, graffiti, it's all part of joining a gang. In times like these, we need to protect our children and our community from gangs. Gangs often prey on unsupervised teens with low self-esteem, who perform poorly in school, who seek a sense of belonging, or are simply bored. Joining a gang often involves violent hazing rituals. Once in a gang, members can become alienated from their families, school, and friends. Drugs, guns, and malicious activity are common elements in gangs. Trying to leave a gang can be a difficult and dangerous process. The best way to get out of a gang is never to join one. Protect kids from being recruited by a gang. Know who they're hanging out with. Involve kids in after-school activities and provide positive role models. Help reduce gang activities in your community by working with local law enforcement and school systems. Don't let a kid you know get involved with gangs. Visit ncpc.org to learn more or contact your local law enforcement agency. A message from the U.S. Department of Justice, National Crime Prevention Council, and the Ad Council. We know you should be working, but seeing as you're on Facebook already, why not flip over to the 1160 page and tell us what you think? Then go to 1160.com and listen while you're online. We're worldwide. Real Talk 1160. Hey, it's the Wild Man from Real Sports 1160 here with my friend Rob Bullock from Bullock Roofing. Hey, Wild Man. Rob, I hear you guys are the roofing experts. That's right, Wild Man. If it has to do with a roof, we can handle it. Roof contracting and replacement, shingles, gutters, chimney repair, skylights. We even offer replacement windows. Now, what sets Bullock Roofing apart from the other guys? Wild Man, we are the roofing experts. We do it once, we do it right, and our pride shows in our work. Our customers mean the world to us, and they're satisfied speaks volumes. We're based on old-fashioned value and fair prices. And word of mouth today is everything. That's right. Our popularity has grown thanks to our customers telling their family and friends about our quality work. Take it from Rob Bullock with Bullock Roofing. If you need help with your roof, gutters, chimney, even replacement windows, get the treatment you deserve from the experts at Bullock Roofing. We service the entire greater Cincinnati area. Find us on the web at bullockroofing.com. That's bullockroofing.com. Call us for a free estimate today at 513 771 2096. Listen all you want. We'll make more. Real Talk 1160. Dips, sticks, and deals on Real Talk 1160. 513 579 1160. We are in fourth gear. We were talking about trying not to get too political, but during the debates, Governor Romney mentioned the failed stimulus for the energy initiative created by the Obama administration. And he mentioned specifically three companies that related to the automotive industry, which is why we got into this. And we're going to close the segment out. But I was just thinking, if you consider how much Americans drive, is anyone thinking about the demand that would be placed on the electric grid if any of this stuff would work? I mean, what if we were all plugging in electric vehicles? What would happen to the power grid? Can it handle it? No. What would, <laughs> what would happen to your electric bill? 
if everybody's plugging their cars up, you know, skyrocket. I thought, I thought about that just with cell phones alone. I mean, would you be able to afford to buy a green car or any other car if your electric bill went through the roof? I mean, it's already going up. But isn't there some type of fuel that you need to drive the turbines to create electricity? That's my point. Wouldn't that create more coal? Well, it's all relative to demand. They're already saying our grid is uh, outdated and can't handle it. In the future, if this works, it seems to me that they're putting all their peanuts into one bag for energy, electric vehicles for energy uh, reduction. Or and eggs. they're not considering, or Doritos. Or eggs in one basket. <laughs> Yeah, if that's too common, eggs in a basket. I like peanuts in a bag. <laughs> I just like peanuts. Or meatball and jelly. That's weird. You know, green energy, this is my opinion. Green energy, to me, is like organic food. You know, if you choose to eat organic food, good for you. Yum, if you yum. choose not to eat organic food, good for you. You follow me? You know what the problem with some organic food is? What? what they're finding out because it was made in like pure manure and some other things that there's other type of bacteria. That's only because of the crapoline that they're feeding the cows. Well, yeah, whatever. But Natural, unadulterated cow poop is good for food. Good. And how's that work for the people from way back in the day? The average lifespan was till thirty, and they were shorter. You would have fit in well. That's why medication helps. <laughs> this is just crazy. What about NASCAR? What about NASCAR? Boom, boom. What about this NASCAR third on-track test? Tell me about it. Well, they got like the, the, the Chevy SS, the Ford Fusion, and the Toyota Camry. And what they're saying basically is that these new cars will not only look more like the street counterparts that I'm quoting, but will also be better in competition than the present models. Because? I don't know, because they said. Are they more aerodynamic or more tailored to what? It was just an input from the drivers. Oh, the drivers like them. Right. I got gotcha. you. Well, that's that's pretty cool. And it would probably be, looks like, more part of the, the aerodynamics and the way the car is built. Right. Um, you know, the, the... the Huh? Are you sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just fall, uh, you just fall asleep right there? It's the altitude. We it get is. You it's Cheerios. probably altitude. Um, when well, neat. when you're talking about NASCAR and the chase itself, um, who's your favorite... Who's your favorite for to win the chase here? Richard Petty. <laughs> <laughs> Not the chase for the ground. I'm talking about the chase for the race. Who do you think? Brad Kel- Keskowski, Jimmy Johnson, Denny Hamlin, Dale Ricky Arnold Bobby. Jr., Ricky Bobby. I'm going with Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson. That's probably a pretty good pick, and I'd like to see Jimmy Johnson win it, to be honest with you, too. I'd like to see him get, him, get his seventh. Um, he actually qualified 17th for the Talladega. Um, Where's Stewart lie? Stewart, he qualified fourth in the race. He's in the chase. That's I what mean, I thought. He's one, two, three, four. He's fifth in the points. Um, ahead of Casey Kane, who's another driver that I like. Um, what about Junior? Is he in it? Junior is in it also. He qualified 12th for Talladega, and he is behind Casey Kane. And Martin Truex is in there. Kevin Harvick, Jeff Gordon. We've talked about these guys earlier, Greg Biffle and Matt Kenseth. That's your uh, that's your chase racers. Those are the guys that can actually win the championship. They can win the cup. They're you know, in the chase, the other the other racers are for points and money, but can't win the championship. That that drafting there at uh, that Talladega, that's absolutely amazing. When you re- see what them boys are doing at them kind of speeds, it is. And Talladega is the super track. That's a super speedway, and it makes for some really really good racing. Well, you got to have a you got to have a teammate, or you you you're not going to run. That's true, especially when you got a field of drivers in the chase like you have right. this season. Because these are the these. I mean the. It goes without saying the top dogs are always in the chase at the end of the season, but this year especially, I mean, you've got the top dogs in the run. I mean, it's that's what makes for a good race, and that's for sure. It sure does. And, you know, Darren Earnhardt Jr., he's a good-looking guy. That was a very strange comment. I'm really uncomfortable <laughs> with this conversation we're having. <laughs> I'm looking at a picture of him here. He's sporting a beard now, looking pretty, pretty rough. Uh... <laughs> You got any auto trivia that we can... You know what, though? I do have Fisker. They just called. Oh, they did? Yeah, and they said they uh, do not consider themselves losers, as Mitt Romney said that they were. Well, of course. It said it had sold 1,500 cars already. Yeah, but you know what? It's the altitude. They're not thinking straight. (laughs) (laughs) 
There, here's the kicker, and I didn't want to mention this because I don't like to get in political on air. Here we go. Here we go. That Where's they, the mute button? They said that they're creating a thousand jobs and raising over one point two billion dollars for the private sector. Building fifty to hundred thousand dollar electric cars. It's another one of those things where I'll throw fifty billion dollars at a company, you hire a whole bunch of people, and I will put it on my record as hiring jobs, creating jobs. It's called spin. Didn't say it didn't say anything about debt going up. I'm just uh, la, la, la. anyway. It's spin. They'll be bankrupt because nobody's going to be able to afford to drive those cars, and they're not going to be afford to buy them. The few that will be the elite. You know what I'm saying? I hear you. I hear you. I just want to let you know. What does this big old red button do right here on the middle of the table? If I hit that. That, that's what that you. button does right there, buddy, just so you know. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Do you have something to say, Kenny? No, I just... See, <laughs> it works so good. <laughs> you guys are mean to me. Hey, you know what? We were we were thinking about doing a little bit... We were paging through some of our notes, and uh, auto trivia came up. Can I ask you something first? Oh, uh, well, You won't let me go... Well, go ahead. What were you going to say? <laughs> well, first I want to... There you go. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Go I, just, ahead. I just didn't know if you had heard anything about this Batman theme Kia. The Batman theme Kia. You know what? I think you're going to tell us. No, I just didn't know. It said Kia Optima <laughs> will be unveiled on October 10th. As <laughs> did you know that the average car <laughs> 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 the average car contains over 3,000 feet of electrical wires? That's amazing, man. Oh. I'm going to moot myself because you know what. I <laughs> That's I shouldn't even have brought that red button up. <laughs> anyway, okay. The Korean mm-hmm. automaker and comic book publisher DC <laughs> Entertainment kick off a collaboration on seven superhero Kias: Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, The Flash, Aquaman, Cyborg will be matched to other Kias. What is up with this superhero? What other stuff? show? What? Let me let me just say this. What other radio? Sh- I don't have a movie. <laughs> what? Um, what other radio show on air can go from NASCAR to Batman that quickly? There is no other. That was that was amazing. We're original. But I, we can, are. I don't understand this whole theme thing. What do you mean? It's going to look like Batman? It's going to look like the Batmobile? What's going Third on? wheel? I don't know. Instead of a spoiler, it's going to have a cape. I, I guess it would have stuff like interior... Maybe some type of... Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Right, the colors and all that. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's just re- dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in 1939, San Antonio Light wrote about future cars that could be folded into a neat and tidy suitcase size package. I don't know what? why I said that. What? In the 50s, most Americans believed by... That by the year two thousand, people would drive flying cars. Isn't that isn't that crazy? Back That's in the fifties, they thought by now we'd have been oh, sure. yeah. twelve years into oh, driving yeah. flying. Well, cars. instead of electric cars, we need to be trying to fly these things. You know, the first speeding ticket ever written was in the U.S. was in nineteen o two, and you wrote it too, didn't you? Mm-hmm. I did. In, you know, in fifty nine, the Chicago Tribune published an article about the coming of drive in supermarkets. Where housewives use their cars instead of shopping carts. Isn't that interesting? Snap on fenders were introduced by Studebaker in 1934. Studebaker. In 1960, rumors circulated that the U.S. government was working on something called the Magic Beam Highway, an electrified roadway that powered and controlled cars through a system of advanced computers. And what did we talk about just last week? That very thing. We talked about the Magic Beam Highway. That's what we <laughs> talked about. Technology, driverless cars. This was from the 1960s. Well, sure, son. That they saw this coming. That was after the aliens crashed in the desert. You know, in 1950, <laughs> the demountable tire was introduced. Okay. Versus the unmountable tire. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it was fixed. And they just drove it around. It was fixed. Drove the ground. You know what? I am tired of this show. I'm going to start talking about it. Tips, Dicks, and Deals on Real Talk 1160. Weather when you need it. Your Real Talk 1160 forecast every 15 minutes. Here's a forecast for northern Kentucky, Cincinnati, and the Tri-State for this afternoon. Cloudy, then gradually becoming mostly sunny. 
high near 54. For tonight, patchy frost after 5 a.m., otherwise mostly clear, low 34. For Columbus Day Monday, sunny with a high near 56 areas of frost before 10 a.m. From the Real Talk 1160 Weatherbug Forecast Center, this is Jim Tice. If you drive a car, you must have this number, 1-800-828-0159. The number to STI Towing, the Tri-State's towing pros. STI handles most motor clubs, including AAA, and they offer prompt, courteous, and professional service all day and all night. Mention Real Talk 1160, and the first five miles are free. That's 1-800-828-0159. 1-800-828-0159. For STI Towing. It's not easy being a veteran. Coming back from Iraq or Afghanistan. I had been so excited to come home. But it's harder than I thought. Join us at communityofveterans.org. And connect to others who are going through the same thing. Brought to you by Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America and the Ad Council. Cincinnati AM with Dean Muccio. Mornings. Rodney Runyon in jail for five days. Contempt of court. The judge noticed that he looked a little unsteady. So the judge said, why don't you take a breathalyzer? He blew a three. Whoa. How was he even breathing? How did he make it to court? I guess the message that the court is trying to send, don't show up in court drunk. Not helping the case any, is it? Cincinnati AM with Dean Muccio. Morning 7 to 9 on Real Talk 1160. Imagine you're reaching for a pen when you slip and, yep, there goes your coffee right onto your computer. If you're one of the almost 50% of small businesses that don't back up their PCs, you've just lost data and there's a good chance you'll lose sales. From human error to natural disasters or even those little oops moments, there's always a risk of your computer system going down and that could really hurt your business. Take it from Doug McDonald at the Cincinnati Museum Center. Like every other business, data is critically important. We have over 80,000 records of donors and members who are critical to our livelihood. That may be enough to make you give up coffee forever, but there's a better way. How does the Museum Center do it? Cincinnati Bell is a wonderful partner, and with them, I don't worry about these things. That gives you peace of mind. So don't swear off coffee just yet, because Cincinnati Bell is now offering data backup, part of our peace of mind suite. Get 25 gigs for just $25 for 12 months. Now that should help you relax, unless you've had too much coffee. Just call 513-2-BUNDLE or visit MyRightSolution.com slash backup. Cincinnati Bell, right here for you. You've worked hard over the years to accumulate wealth and hope your legacy reaches your heirs as intended. At Brown Financial Advisors, we'll structure your retirement savings plans to increase the value of your estate and create the legacy that your family will benefit from. Our team of experts can help you protect your legacy for loved ones, provide benefits for charities, and avoid unnecessary tax burdens. To receive your complimentary Legacy Maximizer report, call Brown Financial Advisors at 513-575-9654. 575-9654 for all your estate planning needs. Now, I don't want to get off on a rant here, but extreme sports... Folks, let's call this what it is. Weird shit invented by guys who are willing to die to get laid. Dennis Miller, weeknights at 10 on Real Talk 1160. So coming to the stage is a really funny guy. Y'all know him. Put your hands together. Give it up for George Wilborn. Folks, why won't we go to the doctor? My uncle calls, speech all slurred, complaining his arms numb. He calls everybody under the sun. Aunt Peyton, his old army buddy George. He even called my daughter Tierra, because you know, she's got a year of nursing. <laughs> Everyone thinks he needs to go to the doctor, including me. So he said, well, will you take me? I'm like, I'm on the road. He goes, I'll wait. <laughs> Stroke's no joke. If you or someone you love have symptoms of stroke, don't call family. Don't dial a friend. Don't wait. It may be too late. Dial 911. Time loss is brain loss. Seriously, dial 911. Learn all the symptoms of a stroke at strokesnojoke.org. That's strokesnojoke.org. A public service announcement brought to you by the American Stroke Association and the Ad Council. Jerry Doyle, now live, evening 6 to 9 on Real Talk 1160. Dipsticks and deals on Real Talk 1160. Jimmy B, the third wheel, and Kenny Coltrane <laughs> oh, is in studio with us today. What were we talking about before we went to break? I don't know. I have my ADD. D- doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should never said anything about them big red buttons. Hey, remember... Anytime that you can't hear us on your radio in the car. It's because we have a mute button. (laughs) It's because we have a mute button. Tune in radio app or radio loyalty app. Um, You can get that on your cell phone, too, your smartphone. If you just go to our site, we have a a, uh, page tailored to your smartphone. 
video archives, contact us, uh, as well as the uh, live feed for the show. So there's no reason not to miss it no matter where you go. Uh-huh. Um, we're going to open the toolbox here real quick because we have a tech tip of the week that comes from Terry Widener. I guess I'm saying that right. Widener or Widener. ASE certified from Auto Plus in San Bernardino, California. Been there. Having your power steering fluid replaced is a forgotten maintenance point. Just like engine oil, the steering fluid runs through components that have normal metal wear, and over time the fluid gets dirty, causes damage to moving parts. He says, I recommend a steering flush service every 75,000 miles, and I happen to agree with that. Go ahead. Don't they do that or are supposed to check that every time I get my oil change? They're going to check the fluid level. They're not necessarily going to check the condition. And, and to be honest with you, there's a lot of shops. You get it? Yeah. There's a lot of shops that kind of forget about this as well. And because you have a power steering rack and or a power steering gear that is metal to metal, which is normal, it creates metal fragments that dilute the uh, power steering fluid and then cause further damage to seals and things like that. So... Ask them next time you go in, hey, check my power steering. If you've got over 75,000 miles on your car, you might want to have that cleaned out. I just went to 75,000 miles. Well, then, and didn't you say you were due for an oil change, your Volkswagen $100, super synthetic, Superman oil change? Mm-hmm. Ask them to check your power steering fluid and see what condition it is, because you can see it just like motor oil. It will turn dark, which is normal, but the darker it gets, that means the more contaminants and stuff that are in it. So that's really, really good tip from, uh, what did I say his name was? Terry uh, Widener. Terry Widener. Terry Widener from San Bernardino, I mean, California. He, he's A certified. He's ASE certified, and he gets a t shirt, listen up t shirt, free for submitting that. Real quick, too, third wheel, will you tell them what the gas, cash, or crash contest question is this week? Oh, no. Yes, I will. Please do it now. <laughs> no, I can't do it right now. I got to get to it. He did it again. It's the altitude. All right, ready? Yes. Iron. No, I'm joking. That was last week's answer. What car in 1971 with a key that had a spark plug gapper, a screwdriver, a distributor points gauge, and an inch and a half ruler? Came with the key. Came with the key. They should do that more often, you would think. In 1971? And Was it 71? Yes. What was the key? A Swiss Army knife or something? (laughs) Dag on. Kia wasn't in the country with cars. I guess it's an Oldsmobile. I bet you're right. I can't tell you if you're right. I don't, or I don't wrong. know what it is, but I'm just saying we're not eligible for the for the cash and prizes. Can I? No, you're not eligible either. Well, this just ain't no fun. So what else is going on, third wheel? I don't know. Here comes a bus. <laughs> <laughs> it just hit me. <laughs> you can do it. Well, first of all, I want to say give a shout out to the Cincinnati Reds. Absolutely, that was fantastic. Uh, I did not approve this. I know you did. I'll didn't. tell you what, and I'm glad I said it because no, 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 let me stop you. I got a mute button, dude. I will crush you. <laughs> Listen, here's the deal. Here's the deal. If you're going to talk about sports on an automotive car show, you have to relate it to automobiles somehow. You got 10 seconds. Go. Quato got hurt, got in his bends, and left. <laughs> now wait a minute. That's that don't make good. sense like because that? they're doing so damn on good. Well, they are doing great. Well, so you should be able to mention it on any Cincinnati show. I just want to give them their props. Good Please. job. They did do a good job. We do uh, appreciate the fine job that all the sports teams around Cincinnati are doing. Okay, I can relate it. They got a Toyota Tundra in the stadium. Remember, if they hit it with a ball, somebody gets it. That's right, they do. Hi. So there's your connection. Nice way to, to bring that around to the automotive world. And they have that little KOI auto parts race thing cartoon. Okay, keep going. I'm just saying. Coltrane yeah. has a conspiracy about last night, though. Oh, I do have a conspiracy, conspiracy theory. What, what was it? What is it? I believe that Dusty Baker did that on purpose with Johnny Cueto. Please explain. I believe he wanted him to start game three. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm done with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're getting crazy today. Oh, shoot. Give me some peanut butter and jelly. Back to uh, auto trivia and senseless information, because we do promise to make you smarter for having listened. Um, Did you know that Hong Kong has the most Rolls Royce cars per person in the world? Does that surprise you at all? No. Say that again. Hong Kong has the most Rolls Royces per person. Per capita, it should say. But, yeah, they have more Rolls Royces than anybody. And you know Chinese have more seven-footers than anybody else as far as human beings? 
And you know Mexico has more Volkswagen bugs than anybody in the world. <laughs> before, uh. listen, before becoming one of the best-selling cars of all time, the Volkswagen Beetle only sold about 300 models during its first year in the United States. I love that car. It is not eerily similar to, like, Hyundai. Couldn't sell them. People didn't like them. They didn't like the Koreans being here. Now look. Now look. Now, in 1935, Ford exposed horn. That was the last time. What? Remember, the horn used to be on the outside. I don't remember it, but I used to see it. When? Yeah, yeah the horns yeah. were mounted on the outside of the vehicle. They like were a, not. Like Would a you, boat horn. Sure. You had to yeah. stop your car, get yeah. out, and blow your horn? Well, it's like also the Ford in 1937 introduced a two-piece windshield. It remained on their cars until 1952. Yeah, the two-piece, that was mm-hmm. the way they did it back in the day. Well, that's just crazy. Cell phone maker Motorola got its start producing record players for cars. The company name comes from a combination of the word motor and Victrola, which was the home unit that played the old records. We talked about this on a previous yeah, show. Yeah, you said it was in their trunks or something. That's where Motorola came from. Hmm. Pretty cool. I think that was neat. You know, 1926, Rickenbacker introduced a laminated safety glass for automobiles. Stop. Rickenbacker. <laughs> you know there's Rickenbacker Air Base? It's Rickenbacker. Rick, Rickenbacker Air Base was <laughs> Rickenbacker. <laughs> Backer. Did you know, because you mentioned car As horns. I was traveling down a reading road. Yeah. When, uh, <laughs> in uh, Symes Township. Yep. Most car horns, you mentioned cars. Did you know that most car horns have a perfect pitch playing the note of F? Deer still don't care. They will not get out of the way. <laughs> Did you know in most vehicles built before 1970, you could not hear the audible tone of the horn if you were eating Doritos? <laughs> that is awesome. In 1950, Oldsmobile offered tops, tops of the car as standard equipment. Tops? Well, does, what does that even mean? A top, a top of your roof, you know, the car. So, oh, so it could have been a convertible was optional. They didn't have roofs. In 1948, the Tucker <laughs> Torpedo was designed with three headlights, including one that was in the center of the grill and came with complimentary deer whistles. And didn't that thing in the middle, that light, it oscillated to when you turned, it turned? Did you say isolated or oscillated? I don't know what oscillated. Isolated. <laughs> they were hidden. Oscillated. Isolated. It was all by itself there in the center. The first car to be recognized as setting a land speed record used an electric motor. Today, the fastest cars in the world use turbojets or rocket engines. Which is insane. And drive 20 times as fast as the first car. Do you know, in 1930, the Gulf Oil Company offered free roadmaps to all who wanted them. And I do remember this, but thanks to Al Gore, he invented the internet. Now we don't need them anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Very good. Oh, my. Do we have a song of the week? Or yeah, we do. Early? 1964, Jan and Dean, Little Old Lady from Pasadena. Good song. The song reached number three on Billboard's Top 100 in 1964, and the Beach Boys also performed the song live with Jan and Dean, and it was included on their number one Billboard album, Beach Boys Concert. It's a great song. Awesome. That goes out to Matt Bernius <laughs> in Miami Township, Ohio. <laughs> Hey, you're listening to Dipsticks and Deals. We appreciate you being here with us. We hope that you are smarter for having listened. Tune in next week. Real Talk 1160, 9 to 11 a.m. We'll see you next week. Bye, y'all. And everybody's saying that there's nobody leaving.